I'm going to take you guys through preparation for a lower body workout. So we're going to look at some soft tissue work for the feet. We walk around on our feet all the time, but how much love do we actually give them? Really, really important before we start to load through our body. We look after our feet. So we look at our feet. We're going to look at the hip flexor and quad area as well, so anterior hip. And we're also going to look at the glutes for our soft tissue work. So really try to get into um, rehydration of the tissue before we go and ask it to activate and work really hard. Then we look at some mobility and stability. Uh, we're going to go th through three different exercises for the ankle, uh, hip, and we're also going to look at some work for the thoracic spine, believe it or not, because that's going to come under a lot of strain. Say, imagine if we're front squatting or back squatting, um, lunging, there's so much work going through our upper back, we have to make sure that it's ready to work. Um, and then finally, we're going to finish off with some movement preparation. So we're going to look at some different lunge patterns, again, to try and get everything firing before we go in and add weight to the body. We're going to start from the ground up for our leg day preparation. So, um, I'm going to use the peanut on the plate and I'm going to get some soft tissue activation into the bottom of my foot. So, nice simple one. Get the plate set up. So, I want to have my foot just on one side of the peanut. And again, there's no real right place to have your foot. It's whatever feels a little bit tight, like it's got a little bit of tension today. So, set everything up. And just making sure as well that I'm not bolt up so I'm getting loads of vibration, so I can just tilt forwards a little bit. And again, just, I don't want to put too much pressure through the peanut. Sometimes it's really tempting to get into that trigger point. Just want to ease off a little bit. Play around with different foot positions as well. So I can get onto the inside of my foot and get onto the outside of my foot. And just exploring how that feels today. If I've been running, I might get a build up of tension in certain parts. So I'll look for about 30 to 45 seconds on one side, and then I'll do exactly the same thing on the other foot. For the hip, we're going to change from the peanut to the front roll. So um, we're really trying to target this area here, so top of the quad, thigh, and get right into that hip flexor. So there's, there are many different parts that are going to feel tension. So again, we just want to play around with three different movement patterns, um, forwards, backwards, left and right, a little bit of rotation and just exploring how that, how that tissue feels today. So, get the plate set up, get rolling in good position. So I'm just gonna start forward and backwards. Put my hand on the floor. Feels a little bit more comfortable through there. So just forwards and backwards, finding any hot spots for today. And then from there, I'm just gonna go left and right. Again, if something feels a little bit tight, I might just hold for a few more seconds on there. And then finally finishing off with a bit of rotation, so really trying to drive my shoulders away. That was 10 seconds in each position. You could go for 15 to 20 seconds in each position, depending on how much time you've got. But hopefully that will just help to release everything through here. So the last piece of our soft tissue work is going to be for the glutes, the powerhouse of the body. So we're going to use the roller again, um, it feels quite nice on the roller plus I can target a little bit more of the glute without having to move around uh, constantly on the peanut. So um, nice simple simple way to activate everything in the glute. I'm just going to sit on it, I'm going to find, initially try and find um, a, a piece of tension really in the muscle and then I'm just going to come into a quite common glute stretch position and then all I'm going to need to do is just rocking up and down, so forwards and backwards on the roller. Again, just if it feels a little bit tight, I might just stay on that position for a little bit longer. And then simply I'm going to find that hot spot, I'm just going to rock left and right. Making sure I don't sit up straight and avoid the vibration in my head, so I'm just tipping forwards a little bit. And then finally stay on that hot spot, I'm just going to rotate. I can use my arm to drive a little bit more if I want just dragging the tissue along the roller. So three different ways to mobilise the glutes, forwards, backwards, um, left and right, and then a little bit of rotation, really trying to hydrate that tissue. 
First mobility, stability, exercise. Again, working from the ground up like we did for our soft tissue work. Uh, we're gonna target the ankle. So, up onto the plate. Just gonna work through three planes of movement. So, just gonna drive forwards, sideways, and then a little bit of rotation. So, we're just gonna work through that matrix. So you're probably gonna do that. That, that little pattern of movement about 10 times, so um, 30 reps in total. Really important to be aware, we want to be in this athletic position, so knees slightly bent, driving forwards the entire time. So making sure that I don't stand bolt upright, so I'm not getting too much vibration up into the head. In terms of range of movement, as with all of our warm-up drills, just got to find a safe range to work through. Additional benefit, even though we're targeting the ankle, we're gonna get a nice bit of work here in the glute maybe, and feel that working, and through the quad. So single leg stability, and all we've done is really targeted the ankles, try and mobilize it. So when we go into, say, our squat, we're hopefully gonna get a little bit more range of movement now. Mobility exercise number two is going to be for our hip flexor. So, we're just going to kneel down onto the plate, and all we're going to do is drive the pelvis forwards and backwards so we get a nice pull through this at the back of the back hip. So, for me right now, it's the left hip. A couple of things to note what's going on with my foot. If I'm in this position now, I'm going to get a bit of big toe mobilization, which can be great for jumping, sprinting any sort of athletic movements that we might do, but also you just keep it flat so I get a nice little bit of a pull through my ankle, so a bit of extra ankle mobility. There's no right or wrong, it's good to do both. Um, I'm also going to use my arms as a driver to get a little bit more stretch through the hip, so I'll demo that now with the plate running. So looking for about 10 reps in each position, so pelvis always moving forwards, to drive, the arms up through the center of the plane, get an additional benefit here, a bit more stretch through the hip, but also I'm going to get a little bit of thoracic mobility as well. From here, I'm going to drive in the frontal plane. So again, we're really activating the thoracic at the same time as mobilizing my hip. And then finish off the transverse plane with some rotation. So it's opening up the whole joint, uh, I would then go to do the exact same process on my right side. So last mobility drill, uh, we're going to look at the thoracic and the lats. So commonly uh, overlooked when, we, when we're going to do a lower body workout, but your thoracic is it's going to do so much work regardless of the exercises that you choose on, on your lower body session. Um, or, or even on, on a leg day. So we want to try and get into it using the plate. So you've got a couple of options here. Option number one, you're going to come into sort of a very traditional position, hands on, and then getting into here, mobilizing your shoulders, getting a nice stretch through the lats and the thoracic. That's option number one. However, I'm a huge fan of a little bit of single arm work. So bringing the roller into play, and adding in a little bit more rotation, which is really going to get a, a, a bigger lap stretch than if we just stay in the sagittal plane. So we'll stick the plate on. 30 seconds on each side. In terms of the tempo of the movement, quite like a little, a little pause in that end range, just so I can really feel that stretch. Breathing as well. Find a nice steady tempo to breathe in. And then again, just trying to explore maybe a little bit more range if we can get through there as that stretch goes on. So about 30 seconds on each side if you're gonna do the single arm one, or you could probably go about 45 seconds in that double position. You know, both movements are really important, especially if you're gonna be overhead squatting or doing any of the Olympic lifts. The last piece of our lower body warm-up is going to involve some preparation. So we're going to go for lunges. We're going to do a little lunge matrix and the lunge is going to be exactly the same every time, just a sagittal plane step 
but we're going to integrate a bit of upper body movement through driving our arms in three different planes of movement. So we're going to alternate left and right, I'll just talk you through it and then I'll do a set. So nice and simple, I want to find a comfortable range of movement so that I'm not reaching too far onto the plate. Remember it's the warm up and we want to prepare the body, not set any personal bests. So we just step onto the plate, just reach up, I'm not precious about the range of movement I'm getting, it can be more like a step rather than lunge. So I've just got forwards, backwards, driving my arms up. Then, arms are going to stay up. I'm just going to lean over to one side in the frontal plane. And then the final one is going to be rotation. I'm going to rotate over that front leg, like so. So I'll stick the plate on. So just alternating. Try and drive the pelvis forwards, leaning across through the frontal plane, and then finally a bit of rotation. So there's only six movements there. Probably recommend doing that circuit two or three times, whatever feels comfortable. But the whole purpose behind that last little piece there is to tie in everything that we've just previously done and prepare ourselves for getting under a barbell or just simply adding some load to our lunges or squats.